Hello guys, hope you are doing well. So we are going to start with our play playlist of FortiGate 7.0 version. So today I will show you the interface settings in FortiGate Firewall in version 7.0. So this is our LAN interface port 2. Okay, this one. So we will check what all things we can do. Alias as a name, we can define a name. I will give a name. Okay. If you want to define a role, you can define a role, which is LAN. Okay, you can define an IP over here. I will give it as a normal IP. Okay. If you want, you can give a specific interface IP or DHCP as well. Okay. And uh, if you want to give manual, you can create a manu manual as well. You can create address objects matching subnet over here. Okay. Secondary IP address also you can configure. That is also option over here. The guys with Cisco domain are very much familiar with this term. And uh, what are things you want to allow on this interface? HTTPS, SSH, ping, SNMP. SNMP is not required. And do you want to receive LLDP messages or you just want to transmit LLDP messages? I'll just click on enable. And now uh, if you want to configure this LAN facing interface, Fortigate as a DHCP server. So all the uh, the devices connected, endpoint devices connected, should get uh, IP address from this DHCP server. So that also you can configure. So I will show you. See by default it's taking the same range, n dot one dot one dot two, and uh, that's all. Advanced also options are there. If you are having a DHCP, uh, for example, your server is in one different location. Yeah, you want to define the relay option, then that is also possible. Now I'll click on OK. Okay, so that's how you configure an interface in uh, FortiGate Firewall in 7.0. It's similar like the previous version 6.4. Now, <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you want this device to get IP. So let me check in the CMD whether it is getting an IP or not. Okay, config. It's getting an IP. Is it able to reach the gateway? Yeah, it's able to reach. Is it able to reach the outside world? No, because we have not defined any static routing for to get firewall. So I will show you. Create new port one. Okay, I know my gateway one ninety two one sixty eight zero dot one. Okay, now click on okay. Now defining a route is only not uh, the option we have to do in a forty eight firewall. There are other things as well like firewall policies. That's what makes a firewall different from the other LTE devices like router and switch. Now see, I will give LAN to WAN. You see, this guy will not be able to communicate. Yeah. Because we don't have any firewall policy. Incoming interface will be port 2, port 1. We can define anything over here, like address group C. This address, address group, IP address, thread feed, everything is possible. User, you want to define if you are having an Active Directory, people, okay, Internet service. This is a different option. I'll just select all. Destination is also all. Service, what all service you want. You can define as many as services you want. But as of now, for our lab purpose, I will just define all. And uh, these are the common things like inspection mode is flow based or proxy based and NATing. There are many types of NAT. First one is like similar to that NAT, like it's pad. The other things are dynamic overload, one to one fixed port, port block allocation, which I've defined in my earlier videos. Okay. And now click on all sessions. Now this device will be able to communicate with the internet. And if you want to see the logs, you can just, I'll just give a ping of, repeat ping count. Okay. 
Get System. So our inside user 10.1.1.2 is getting natted with this IP 192.168.0.154, which is the IP of the firewall pan facing interface, which is port 1. and it's trying to communicate with destination global dns so now in next lecture i will show you how to configure redundant and aggregate interfaces in fortigate firewall so this was just a basic video uh, to show you the uh, basic configuration of fortigate firewall in version 10.0 thank you guys thank you for uh, watching my videos and stay tuned for the upcoming videos